Hi everyone, let's try to solve another problem on isometrical projections. It's the sixth problem. We have the question like this. The first term of a square pyramid of side 40 mm and height 60 mm rests on center of the top of a square block of sides 60 mm and height 20 mm. The base edges of the pyramids are parallel to the top edges of the square block. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of solids. Here in this problem, they have given the front as well as the top view. As we can see here, we have the base of 60 mm square and a thickness of 20 mm, that is the height of 20 mm. And we have a square pyramid which is cut at the top, having the top square as 20 and the base as 40. And the total height of the pyramid is 60 mm. Now let's try to solve this particular problem using the software. Here, I will draw the isometrical square, that is the base of the square block of 60 first so for that i will first draw a square of 60 mm i will use the visible line 60 enter 30 60 150 60 minus 150 60 and minus 30 so once i have this I'll make the normal lines. I'll make a copy of this particular square that we have drawn. Before that, let's divide this particular diagonals. And I'll make a copy of this particular isometrical square and I'll keep it here for making the pyramid. Now, let's complete it. So from here, I'll measure 20 mm downwards so that we can have the box. So we'll change the line to visible. I haven't changed the line to visible. So we'll change it from here, a measure of 60 mm and an angle of minus 30. You can give it in this way or else you can do it in this way also. 20 mm down and then connect here. So this is also a method. So now I will trim this particular lines which are unnecessary. So I just want the center of this particular square box. Now I have made a copy of this particular square box here now i will scale it down first so if you see the problem here it is 60 then we have 40 and then we have 20 mm square so we'll convert this particular 60 mm square to 40 mm so how do we do that we will give the scale factor as 40 the required dimension by 60 which we have so which will give us a 40 mm square if you want you can dimension it out and see we have a 40 mm square Similarly, we want a 20 mm. So we'll create a copy of this. We'll create a copy of this and we'll scale it down. That is 20. And the given dimension of this is 40 divided by 40, which gives you a 20 mm square. See here, you have this particular thing. Now I will trim the ends inside lines so that I will have just the center of this particular point. Now I have to give a center axis of 60 mm so i'll give a axis length of 60 mm from the center after i draw this i'll trim the bottom line of this so that it's not necessary now i will select this particular top square and i will move it onto the end of this particular so i will click at the end of this line and i will place on top of this particular axis line now We'll trim the excess lines that are not necessary out here. After that, we'll take the line, visible line. We'll connect the end of this particular pyramids. Once I have this, I will select this pyramid once again. Then I will move it on top of the square box that we have onto the center of it. Now I will delete this particular line which are not necessary. This I won't delete because we have an overlapping line which actually draws from this point to this point. So the center line which is inside, it's not visible. We'll delete these dimensions which are not necessary. And we'll trim the excess lines that's not required. And this actually finishes the problem, but we have to scale it down. So for that, we'll select, we'll give the scale as 0 0.8164. Hit enter and you can have the reduce the size out here. And this actually completes the given problem.